So this is an amazing anatomical flat book that we're looking at here. It was invented, and that's the word he uses in the book, by Johannes Hemelin, who was an anatomist and physician in Germany in the 17th century. It's a fantastic book for many reasons. It's the most popular anatomical flap book in history, um, and it is the one that has the most flaps that we know of. We have just completed the restoration and the digitization of our copy, and I'm going to run you through uh, how the book is made and look at some of the illustrations. It first circulates in Germany in 1614 um, and the first authorised edition is from 1619. I say authorised because the engraver who put the, the plates together actually stole the plates away and circulated them before uh, Johannes Remelin had put together the uh, key that explains what you will be looking at. It is quite unique as a flat book because it was reprinted in many editions, translated in many languages, went as far as Japan already in the 18th century. It is unique as well because it combines anatomical knowledge and art history. It is composed as a memento mori, and it even says here memento mori, meaning that it is supposed to be a reminder that life um, is short and that we will die. But most importantly, it is a textbook for physicians and anatomists to learn how the human body works and functions. If I turn to our first plate, we have the male and the female body, as well as a pregnant torso. You also have an eye, which you can lift and discover inside of the eye. The ear with the cochlea. But again, you also have biblical symbols here with an angel and a quote from the Bible. The bodies themselves all have modesty sash and including the devil over the uh, pregnant belly and the female genitals. The second plate is a description of the male body. And the unique way in which this anatomical flat book is built is that rather than just adding layer on top of layer, there is a piece of paper that is glued over a backing and the organs are inserted within it, which means that you are actually um, opening, the, uh, opening up the body in a way that a real autopsy would take place. You have to open the skin by opening the top surface layer of the paper. And the incisions made on the paper are made to mimic the way an autopsy would actually take place. It is the first time that this technique is being used. And that really gives you a sense that Remelin was trying to teach the very technique and the way the hands are operating on the body through paper. He also left some of the body parts loose, which means that you can actually retrieve them, handle them, and look at them for yourself. So I'm looking at the heart here. This meant that as a paper instrument, the copies of the catropterum are very often damaged. So we had to repair quite a lot um, of the uh, uh, figures because they had been manipulated so much that a lot of the layers had peeled, many of them were torn, and our conservator repaired this. You can see that for the first time as well, um, we have an anatomical flap book that represents uh, the cranium, both for the male and the female cranium, and you can open the different uh, uh, layers here as well. And the final plate is that of the female body on its own. This time a phoenix is hiding the female organs. You can see a representation of uh, 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 the biblical snake at the bottom. And again, you have this top layer representing the skin and you can open up the different organs. To digitize it, we had to use small layers of uh, soft foam on which we uh, uh, put a, a glass plate so that the glass plate would not touch the paper and each flap 
was digitized separately. Thanks to this process in Menda, we could actually overlay them digitally and we created a digital version where not only can you can see the three plates separately, but you can choose yourself which area you want to open up one after the other. It is the first time that an anatomical flat book has been recreated digitally in this interactive manner. So thanks to our digital reconstruction on turning the pages, enjoy peeling the layers of the human body from your own home. Thank you very much.